so let us get right into the second method which is all the commented parts so I'm pausing this for a second and I'll unpause it when I'm done uncommenting and commenting stuff okay so now everything is switched so um, just an example just to show you what it should look like so you'll still get the same smooth animation uh, I feel like I think this one moves slower than the other one but it, uh, the animation moves slower but it's generally the same program so let's see what I changed within the program so um, everything else is the same but now we're going to be utilizing the current image right now and it's basically utilizing the same feature that frame counter did but in a different method and frame counter is going to be used in a different way right now so in if is active okay frame counter is basically what it was in the last um, sprites um, tutorials in the part 1 part 2 and part 3 um, frame count is just going to count until it reaches the switch frame right it's with the switch frame value and then when it reaches the switch frame value then we add one to the current image and reset frame counter equal to zero and then if the current frame is greater or should be greater or equal to four then we reset current image to zero again so it's basically doing what it, it did over here frame is basically doing the exact same thing what frame counter did it's determining which frame to which current frame of the frame set should we draw and then if the player is not pressing nothing then we set the frame count to zero and the current image to zero and for the uh, for actually blitting to the screen the blitting is exact same we cast it to an ink cast we put current image plus the base image same thing draw it to the buffer the position is the same we um and we get the width and the height the exact same way and um everything else in the program remains the same it's just two altered methods i believe the first first method is easier to go through but it just depends on your style of coding which method you rather use so let's do a quick run through and i will play the program one more time because I don't remember who, but some people commented, um, I think one person commented on one of my videos, one or two, that said that I should run the program at the very end to show you guys the end result. So I promise I will do this. Thanks for stating that in the comment below. So anyways, um, let's go through it again. So we include Allegro and the string stream. Uh, we initialize Allegro, initialize our timer create our buffer um, created the game loop option um, created our source uh, we created our bitmap for our images loading the images we stored everything in a string stream called str um, and then we loaded them using the load bitmap command and we just have to do this little thing right here to change it to a C style string so Allegro recognizes it we initialized our variables and sorry uh, this is a second method also so we uh, we created our variables and used them in different ways um, in our update loop we basically update the player position and the direction we set the base image um, which will determine the image set that we'll be drawing in the um, if it's active and if an else statement if, if the player is moving then we will determine when to switch the frame if the player is not moving then we will just set the default frame to start drawing and remember we have to decrement timer by one and outside the update loop that's when we draw we draw the image um, the current image that we need to draw and then we blit the buffer to the screen clear the bitmap destroy the bitmap and destroy all the player images and exit allegro return zero and end of main so run this program for the final time for all you guys out there 
So let's see this masterpiece come to life. So once you right pressing down, left, and up. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.